But I want to move on a little bit and talk with uh, Bob about active management. And, and, and Bob, um, this is a slightly different story, but you run an actively managed fund, Trim Tabs, the all cap U U.S. free cash flow ETF. Um, and you have been investing and really Trim Tabs is all about free cash flow as the key metric. Can you very briefly just tell us why is that the most important thing to you? Is it even more important than actual earnings? Yeah, um, as you know, uh, the, you know, management has great latitude and discretion in uh, in how they report earnings, um, and, and we at Trim Tabs believe that free cash flow profitability, uh, which is the focus of our investment strategies, and our research shows that free cash flow profitability just generates a better risk adjusted return compared to other property, uh, pro excuse me, other popular quality indicators like return on equity and return on assets, gross margins, earnings persistence, et cetera. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to get into, uh, we, we do quant, uh, proprietary quant screening uh, of the Russell 3000, and nothing gets into our, uh, our, our active ETFs that doesn't have very strong uh, free cash flow scoring. Yeah, so it, it, essentially you're applying free cash flow. It's harder to futz around with free cash flow than it is with, the, with, with, with earnings, and that it's a pure, a pure look at how companies are doing. Is that the point? That's the point, yeah. And, uh, and yeah. we have decades okay. of research, that, uh, empirical research, to, uh, to, to point to that. Support now, that. when I look at this, it looks like a high, qual it looks like a high quality fund. So you're, I'm looking at the top holdings here, J.P. Morgan, Apple, Morgan Stanley, Microsoft, and Amazon here. It kind of looks like a high-quality fund. What, what's the criteria for in inclusion here? Is it just cash Again, flow? High, high free cash flows, quant scores. Um, and in the case of, uh, of, of the big financials in there, there's, uh, you know, there is a, a, a more of a, an active macro tilt as you know, free cash flow is, is, is not, you know, banks are not typically measured on free cash flow. However, uh, with uh, interest rates where they were when these went in, um, and, th and then there's been some price appreciation. Um, these uh, obviously have great quality of earnings, but also, uh, you know, kind of an active macro tilt towards uh, the yield curve um, absolute level and, and steepening as it has.